Okay, once the glider is set up, the tandem instructor will help the passenger put on his harness correctly before putting on his own harness and hooking into the glider. Before launching, the instructor will decide whether to launch with a forward inflation or a reverse inflation. A forward inflation is preferred in light conditions and simply requires the passenger to run down the hill with the instructor coaching them during this process. A reverse inflation is generally done in stronger conditions. Be prepared to take a couple of steps backwards before the instructor coaches you to start running forward. But it is important to continue to run until you're off the hill and the instructor tells you to stop running. Don't be fooled by the lifting feeling and jump into your seat too early. When the instructor is confident that you are flying, he will then coach you how to get back into your seat correctly and put your arms behind your risers. At no time will you ever reach up and grab the instructor's arms or the risers or the brake toggles as this is how the glider is controlled. It is highly unlikely that it will ever have to be used, but the instructor does carry a reserve parachute big enough for both people. It is his job to deploy it if necessary. Okay, we're flying along, you're kicked back in your seat, you're enjoying the view and having a lot of fun, as everyone does. The instructor will show you how everything works, and sometimes even let you take control of the glider. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Eventually, you're going to have to land. And when you get ready to land, the instructor is going to coach you back out of your seat to where your feet are hanging and your arms are back in front of your risers and you're ready to stand up and run out the landing as required. Usually only takes a couple of steps before coming to a complete stop and then turning around to face the wing as it gently settles to the ground. It may seem like you're coming in fast, but the instructor is going to slow the glider down just before you touch down with a flare maneuver. What you want to do is act like you're stepping off a moving escalator like at the airport. Have your feet moving and ready to land when you touch down. All high fives and hugs are accepted.